Hello there, it's Morgan here, and thank you for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a bit of my process of how I approach journaling. I have been journaling and keeping a diary pretty regularly ever since I was about eight years old, and I've kept a lot of the journals, and when I go back and look, the only thing that I see in common from journal to journal, diary to diary, is that there's nothing in common. I <laughs> There have been times where I have kept all of my school notes and all of my songs and poems and drawings in one notebook. There have been times where I've split, split them up over different notebooks, and I haven't really had much of a strategy in that way. I just... I don't know. For me, it's just about filling the page and just seeing what comes up. And I like to try different pens and pencils and markers. And I like to think that this is just something that I can have where I can just kind of be free and do what I want to do. At at the top of this page, I started writing just, you know, sometimes I just start filling the page. Sometimes I just start writing, not knowing what I'm going to say. And as I started writing that, I just got to a line that I just wanted to commemorate. And that was move the pen along the page and just see what happens. And for me, that's a lot of what journaling is. It's not about filling the page in this perfect way. It's not about saying all the right things. Sometimes you might just have a few words for that day. You might just have a few lines. You might just have a flower you want to draw. And that's okay. This is the space to do that. You know, life is filled with things that we have to do, need to do. And this is the space to color outside the lines or just try something. And you can just be free and write what you like. So... That's sort of my main approach to journaling, and I would say my default approach to journaling. And I, this is kind of like, you know, if I just go and open a notebook, this is what I do. I'm not really thinking about what I'm writing for or who I'm writing for or any of that. I just start going and just seeing what comes up. And I think some of that may come from, as a kid, I dealt with um, dyslexia and writing was very, very therapeutic and calming for me. So I guess for me, it's kind of always been about just writing the letters themselves and then letters turn into words and words turn into sentences and sentences turn into paragraphs. And before you know it, you have filled a whole book. So yeah, that's kind of my approach with this new journal that I actually got a chance to create with Fringe Studio. This next style of writing that I will lean into from time to time is called Morning Pages. I did not invent Morning Pages. I actually discovered Morning Pages from Julia Cameron, like many others. And I, she's a writer and she writes a lot about creativity. And she recommends starting the day with three pages that you just write and write and write until you fill the pages. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you feel like you're just rambling. It doesn't matter if you feel like you're not saying anything. It's just a way of getting into the rhythm of writing. And it's kind of like a brain dump. And because I've been doing morning pages for a while, um, I would say it started out as a brain dump. But now I, if, you know, I maybe have like a quarter of the page now that's brain dump. And as I start to go along the way, I do start to think of things that I actually want to say. Questions that I have maybe about things going on in my life or questions that I want to ask someone else or different things that I want to share with others. And even if I don't necessarily go back and read these things like that day or that month or that year even, I think that there's something so important or at least interesting about writing these things down. And for me, I feel like they kind of live in my head a little bit, but it's important for me to get it out first. So what I mean is a lot of the things that I end up writing about in these sessions, the times that I have gone back, I'm able to see, oh, wow, like 
even though I wasn't consciously trying to do it, some of the things that I've shared in this space actually end up being in the work that I create. And I'm just really fascinated by that. And that's why I keep on doing morning pages and I keep writing in this way. And I keep challenging myself and pushing myself to just fill the page. Now, here is a little example of how I did take something from Morning Pages and I decided to highlight it on its own page and add a few pastels and just really bring life to this particular part. And it's not even so much to make art out of it that I'm going to share with others, but I wrote something that I know that I need to be reminded of because I oftentimes find myself <laughs> trying to do things perfectly and I find myself trying to to make everything just right. So I actually wrote down brokenness leads to openness and openness needs leads to connection. And from there, as I started to think about connection and I was like, oh, that's really interesting. Like sometimes I can't find connection when I'm pursuing perfection. And I was like, oh, connection perfection. They kind of rhyme in a weird way. So I'm flipping to the next page and I'm writing connection over perfection. And again, this is something that I'm not even sure if this is something that everyone else will want to read or that I would even that I would even want to read a day from now or a week from now or a year from now. But I know that I need it right now. I know that that's something that I need to be reminded of. So this is a way of commemorating that in this present moment and making something of it. So, you know, I would say in your journal, sometimes there are things that you just need to hear and maybe you don't have to fill the page. Maybe you can just write that one word or two words or few words down and you can just commemorate them and and honor that moment and say, yes, this this matters right now. And I just want to just make a little room on this page just for those words. Another way that I tend to feel the pages of my journal is by simply just doodling, drawing lines, drawing flowers, just allowing myself to go beyond the words. You know, I think as we grow up, sometimes we feel all of this pressure to always be so proficient at everything and I mean, at least that's how I feel many times. And even though I make art for a living, (laughs) I still often feel pressured to say something smart when I go to write on a page. And I feel like I need to fill it with deep thoughts. But honestly, sometimes simple, badly drawn flowers (laughs) is more than enough. And sometimes it's just a way of clearing the mind that matters in that moment. So I have been making a practice even more lately to just draw and just doodle and not even worry about what looks good or doesn't look good. It's not what that that's not what it's about. It's about the process. It's about the practice of creating. The practice is so important. Practice is so much better than trying to be perfect. And this not only applies to journaling, but this applies to life. And I have just found that journaling is a place where I'm reminded of this. So when I take the time to just use an ink pen, something that doesn't even have a have an eraser, it doesn't have an eraser, and just draw and draw away and allow myself to make mistakes. When I look back on it, I see that I still managed to fill the page. I still managed to do something and the mistakes are a part of it. The mistakes are a part of what makes me human and it's a part of the lessons that I'm learning. So these are just a few of the lessons that I learned from journaling on a regular basis and I've been journaling and keeping a diary for a very, very long time. So I would definitely say that if you're wanting to fill your own journal and you're wanting to make more or, you know, just do more with the journals that you already have, or you just got a new journal, I will say that it's okay to pace yourself. Like, it's okay if you have to spend some time getting used to making mistakes. Um, What matters is that you're doing it, you're trying, and you are taking this time to just be present. Mm -hmm.